Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning here tonight to chat about this new Caribou album, Suddenly. Caribou, aka Dan Snaith, has been at it for quite some time now, and for as far back as I can remember, Dan's music has always been kind of hard to place for me. His music blends elements of Deep House and Electronica and Folktronica, and he's dabbled with all sorts of other things along the way. His early neo-psych and more Folktronica stuff was pretty colorful, but to me always seemed a little too heady for my liking. It was hard for me to keep track of, but that's just me. However, around the time of Andorra, Dan's music really became much more my speed. This was a lush, beautiful, catchy neo-psych album that wonderfully captured the sound of the 60s. Instantly, Dan was taking a whole lot of risks and making my job a whole lot easier because I had a lot more great things to say about it. And from there on out, it's kind of been really harder to keep track of Dan. In 2010, he came out with Swim, which took a hard left turn into the very dark and dreary world of dance music. There were intense beats and rhythms, tracks that were very dense and long, but also sort of easy to assess. And when it came to 2014's Our Love, I mean, I don't know what was up with me in this album. A lot of people were praising the hell out of this. I really wasn't that into it. It's filled with very colorful, lovely bars about love, but this was easily my least favorite thing he's done since his early days. Now, personally, these new singles have been really rubbing me the right way. They're very smooth, they're very cool sounding. Let's chat about this new album. This album starts off with Sister, and it's a very serene, very beautiful start. Caribou has always had a real way of taking this very electronic sound and making it warm, making it more human friendly. And this, as an intro, is no different. It's tender, it's sweet, and it's really relaxing. And Dan's vocals, which have always been kind of hit and miss for me, sometimes really great, sometimes eh, are really hitting me in a big way here. This ushers in the sound of the album very nicely. You and I expands on a lot of these sounds. It's got a nice steady beat and some crisp production. And once again, I really love Dan's vocals. They're very relaxing and there's something very sweet about this. But there's also some great left hooks here, like the chorus, which brings in these very jittery keyboards. Not to mention we get some quirky samples here. It's a really wonderful blend of sounds. It's just so bright and colorful and easy on the ears. This is just overall a very sweet and relaxing electronic album with plenty of human touches and as well as Caribou's famous left hooks. New Jade is pretty rad as well. I love some of the sampling here, just how fluid this track sounds. Now, overall, I don't think that this album is one of Caribou's more progressive works. As a matter of fact, I think he's playing it kind of safe overall. However, it's not necessarily a bad thing because he's using a lot of tricks that he's used over the years to make something very safe and very enjoyable. I love the drum samples here and Dan's very silky vocals. This is hitting all the right spots. And Home, on the other hand, is a real treat. I love how sweet and soulful this is. There's some serious alternative R&B vibes here. Between the samples and the vocals, this track is awesome. I actually really wish we heard even more tracks like this, because this is bringing in a human touch that I didn't even know that I needed right now. There's something about this track also that reminds me of, like, the first Avalanche's album or some old Jay Dilla in the best way. But it's bright, it's colorful, it's highly addictive, and another great tune. Now, while I said this album is a little safe, don't get it twisted. Dan has a lot of tricks up his sleeve still. Take, for example, Lime, which is a shiny, upbeat, and groovy new disco track for the ages. In a sea of very lush, lavish, relaxed tunes, this is a great little treat. It's just so bouncy, I didn't expect Dan to be getting me on the dance floor right about now. But here we are, and this track is awesome. The bass is slick, the vocals are carefree, and the final 40, much darker seconds here give me the chills. Never Come Back is pretty groovy as well. We almost get like a throwback 90s dance vibe here. The drums, the fluffy beat, the playful vocals. Dan really hasn't missed a step when it comes to tracks like this. And the sheer funk and dance grooves here are undeniable. I genuinely can't really hate any of this. It's all just so fresh. And the smoothness continues to be a real selling point on this album on tracks like Like I Loved You. In a way, this comes off like a really great early 2000s R&B jam. Funky bass and the absolutely killer guitar solos. This is so much more than I expected to hear here, and it is wonderful to hear. And Ravi is nothing short of just a really great deep house jam. I love the production here and the crisp beat. Once again, this isn't anything wildly new in any of these genres that Dan is touching down on. But Dan is doing what he does best and he's doing it well. The vocal snippet is pretty hypnotizing and there is like a really oddly timeless feel to this. And when things get more intense and even broader sounding in the final minute, it actually leads to some of my favorite moments here. 
Overall, yeah, this is actually a pretty sweet little album. There are a few tracks, though, that sort of rub me the wrong way. For one, we have Sonny's Time, which is a little bit more abstract, a little bit of a curveball from Dan. There's a lot of Folktronica vibes on this track, but this is a Caribou album, so yeah, that's expected. But for me, this track kind of sticks out. It's not nearly as inviting or as warm as any of the other material here. Some of the hip-hop and jazz elements are actually pretty good, but as a complete package, there are like at least eight other better tracks here. Filtered Grand Piano has some cool production, a pleasant beat, it's nice on the ears. But for the life of me, this track is nothing short of just an unfinished thought. Magpie is one of the most patient tracks here, but instantly this production is just not doing it for me. And I am not a fan of Dan's vocals here, they are just obnoxious. The production does eventually get better here, but this instrumental is very bouncy and once again sort of out of place. I don't know, I feel like fans of early Caribou albums might be really happy listening to this track, but it's just not for me. And Cloud Song, as a finale, ooh, this is actually the worst track here. This is a weird, super dreary-eyed, dainty little ballad that sounds like it should be the soundtrack for like some Lost Water level in Mario 64. With all the deep house and the smooth beats here, God, this is not for me at all. Dan has been perfectly capable of doing softer ballad-like tunes. Hell, he's done like three on here that are so much better than this. No, this track just puts me to sleep and honestly kind of ends this album off on a pretty bad note for me. So yeah, like I said, as far as like Caribou albums goes, I don't think that Dan really did anything on here that's wildly new or inventive or new and exciting for him. However, here he seems to incorporate so many little tricks he's learned here and there. He's done a lot of really cool things with alternative R&B and Deep House on here, as well as some new disco. And it's a pretty sweet little electronic album. Really digging this. Like, no, it's not perfect or anything, but still, check it out. I'm feeling very strong. Seven on this album, but let me know what you guys think down below if you like the video be sure to give us a like give us a subscribe and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future until next time have a great day guys